What? Not one, but two surprising games? We gotta talk about it. started with the video give it a thumbs up man we have a couple of dope gaming news items for this video the first one we got two surprising games the first one resident evil 4 a remake is in the works and slated to release 20 22 so in about two years we could be getting what many have said is the best in the series this game i remember it was <coughs> bro it was a nintendo gamecube exclusive and at the time it was one of the best looking games out there bro that was when nintendo was still going for power gamecube was a powerful console and um, look at the ratings, nine, 9 out of 10s, just a great game. Bro, I'm not a big fan of the series. I'm going to get into the specifics of the release, and then there's another surprising game. Um, I'm going to get into the specifics of release in a second. But I'm not a big fan of the Resident Evil series, but everyone's telling me that this game is so good, I might get this remake, and by the time this remake's out, of course, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X will be in full effect. So I'll be playing it on my Xbox. All right. And so, multiple development sources have informed VGC that a next generation version has now entered full production with an estimated release window of 2022. Development is being handled by Osaka based studio M2. And, um, let me keep going. Um, the new studio is founded by Taya Minuma, the former head of Platinum Games. The team has supposedly been prepared for this project since 2018. They've been preparing for this since 2018. Um, and this is the same team that's helped out with the Resident Evil 3 remake. And Capcom's internal and external teams are expected to assist with the project. So Capcom is working in conjunction with this team to bring us Resident Evil 4. I'm going to get this game. I passed on Resident Evil 3, the remake. I'll probably get this one, bro. The next news item. We got a couple more news items after this one, too. But this next one. Wow. Controversial Murder Stint Simulator. Hatred is coming to the Nintendo Switch. It's been it's been confirmed. Now, this game was originally released in 2015. This article is coming from NintendoLife.com, um, and it has been confirmed for the Nintendo Switch, placing you in the role of a cold-blooded killer who is sick and tired of humanity's worthless existence. Um, <laughs> this game is coming to the Switch, bro. <laughs> this is the same console that gives us picking flower simulators. The same console that's ha that has Animal Crossing New Horizons will also be getting hatred. Controversial stuff, bro. Speaking of Nintendo, Nintendo is getting sued again, bro. The company that made this device, bro. They're coming for blood, Nintendo. Nintendo is facing another lawsuit by the same company, Game Vice. They've already tried to sue Nintendo and failed. But this past week, they've submitted another lawsuit. 
they want to ban the import of the Nintendo Switch into the United States. Um, and what's crazy about it this time is the wiki pad this is what game vice makes they're saying that nintendo has copied their wiki pad device which is the detachable the pad detaches from the controllers on the side but the crazy thing is the wiki pad is no longer in production and it's not even in co competition with nintendo anymore but um they still accuse nintendo of stealing their ideas and they've done that they're saying nintendo has done irreversible damage to their product they're probably saying one of the reasons why the wiki pad is no longer in production is because of the nintendo switch or maybe because the wiki pad is garbage have you ever thought about game vice but <laughs> nintendo's gonna be facing another lawsuit i tell you man nintendo got good lawyers nintendo seems to win most of their lawsuits so there it is next news item Final Fantasy 7 is off to a spectacular start. In the United Kingdom, in UK, the game has topped the sales charts, debuting at number one, which is expected. Um, no other big, big games really in, in competition that week with Final Fantasy 7. But to the game's credit, it is a dope game. I'm just listing the top five games in the UK right now. Top six. Give a shout out to Forza. Number one, Final Fantasy tops the charts. Number two, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. <coughs> Number three, Animal Crossing still holding strong. Four, FIFA. FIFA is an evergreen title in Europe. Five, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And the sixth um, um, best game is Forza Horizon 4. In, the, in Europe, racing games do extremely well. And so, Final Fantasy VII is topping the charts in the UK. And the last news item for this video. Bro, what's been the biggest controversy last week? The DualSense. Well, Bethesda's Pete Hines He's commented on the controller, and this is what he says. I've gotten to try the haptic feedback and the adaptive triggers on this thing and was very impressed. I think games are going to do some really cool things with them. Even though haptic feedback and adaptive triggers are on <laughs> um, the Xbox controller and the Nintendo Switch Pro controller. The HD rumble and uh, the triggers uh, on the Xbox controller. So... Not really doing some, anything new that controllers aren't already doing, but Pete Hines is singing the praises of the controller. I just thought about something when I was looking at this controller. One of my big pet peeves with the PlayStation controller, I hate the placement of the sticks. But you know what? The handles were thinner, making your thumbs easier to access it. Now that it's a little wider like an Xbox controller. Is it going to be harder to reach those middle sticks? Nah, but I'm sure Sony's, it's probably smaller or they, they've tested it out. But I just thought about that, bro. Bro, it's common sense, man. Have the, have the analog right here, bro. It's so much easier. It's so more comfortable, bro. All right. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? <laughs> Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out, man. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming Discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on?
on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash ob one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Peace.